What's up, everyone? Hurricane Liz here, back for another Professor's Podcast. And with me, as always, the man, the myth, the legend, the professor himself, Howie. We've got a pretty good uh, lineup this season around. How excited are you about, first off, we're back. I mean, we had COVID, we had all sorts of crazy crap happening in the world, but we're finally back. We're going to be live and in person, having the very first in-person mastermind. And it's going to be a scorcher. I'll tell you that much for the simple fact that, I mean, we haven't been able to get together, have some beers together, let out some gigantic secrets together, all the kind of good stuff that we do at one of your events, Howie. So how fired up are you for the simple fact that we get to be around other people this time around we get to share secrets one-on-one well i'm really excited because it's been like 1.5 years <laughs> one and a half years right we we didn't know the last time we i went out with the amazon community was at prosper and it was great we had like a really good time everyone was like you know a lot of partying and a lot of nice you know get get together get together and i, I was with kevin king a lot of times we were eating like a nice kobe beef Stuff like that was really something that I was like missing within the whole indoors and not going out and, you know, and less drinking too. I haven't been really drinking for, uh, for a long time. So the, the real Howard never came out to play. So I do hope, Howie, that you are saving that drinking for your event, which is coming up here October 4th and 5th, which I will give more details on at the end of this. But let's, let's face it. I mean, I think a lot of us are missing that. The last time that we had an event was in Cabo, which was at Cabo San Lucas over in Mexico. And I will say this much. I don't want to reveal too much. I don't want to get these guys in too much trouble. But there were two guys, very high-level guys that were out all night. They were having fun um, in a room with about – there was like 10 people in that room. You were among the 10 people in the room. And I all I can say is this. I was at home asleep, of course, because, you know, I'm, I'm a good girl. I was at home sleeping. And you guys were just discussing all things high – High level Amazon. So some secrets probably definitely came out in that room in Cabo San Lucas. Can you give us a little bit of insight as to what happened there, Howie? Well, it's it was a, a, a group of us that was talking. We were drinking. We were just messing around. And we were talking about Amazon, especially the news techniques and stuff. But it's actually a lot of the people that everyone knows. You know, that been, you know, that's kind of publicly their faces out there and stuff. So I can't really say too much, but it was pretty crazy when you people were getting really drunk and obnoxious and stuff like that. Uh, so it was kind of fun. Yeah, we had some crazy Irish people there. I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, she was really a riot. And I think she outdrank every single guy at that mastermind other table. But that was Cabo. That was one and a half years ago. We'll talk about the last time we were in Vegas, which again, we're coming back to Vegas here. Last time we were in Vegas, very first night, a very big time Amazon seller took everyone out to the club, Howie. How exciting was that? And how cool is it just to be able to hang out with such an elite group of people, people that just... I mean, I can't imagine what the tab was that night as you put together a bunch of crazy rich Amazon sellers in a nightclub and heaven knows what you get in terms of tabs. Well, I don't know how much it was because I didn't really look at the tab, but it was a, a she, she actually paid for dinner, paid for the club, and it was a really nice club, I remember. Um, I forgot the name of the club, but uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, it was Omnia. I think it was like, on me. Oh yeah, and then we had uh, David, the Chinese, the, the Chinese guy that was like really happy. He was like, I don't, I don't want to say it, uh, but he had a lot of fun. Yep, um, what goes on in, uh, in Las Vegas stays in Vegas, right? That yeah, kind of what stuff. happens in Vegas so stays in Vegas, can, and that's why this know. time around on October fourth and fifth, we'll be back in Vegas, back in action. I'm super fired up. I am ready to go out. I'm ready to have some fun. And today's guest is going to be the very first speaker that we will be revealing. So before I introduce him, I'm going to let Howie give a little bit of backstory as to how he came into contact with him, how he knows him. And before I butcher his name, Howie, I'll let you have a crack at butchering his name. But we've already got a nickname from him. We've learned a lot about him before we even recorded this podcast. And so I'm really looking forward to hearing the ideas and some of the things that he may talk about. Remember, the purpose of this podcast is so the speakers can reveal some of the ideas that they have so we can talk them out. We can talk about changes in Amazon. We can talk about a lot of good things up and coming. So Howie, give us a little bit backstory on Mayor. And I butchered it. I think I butchered it. It's Maor. 
or I, I I call him the wolf, right? The wolf. Yeah. So let me explain <clears throat> how I came about the wolf when I heard him talking with one of my friends. I think it was Zach. He was like, it was it was really interesting because it was really hard. I'm I'm all about like you know finding the 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 latest and you know the where using old school you know affiliate marketing uh, internet marketing technology and integrating it with amazon so he was one of the few people that i saw that was had that down to the t so it was really interesting that and i actually messaged him a long time ago and asked him hey how are you doing are you interested in coming in podcast and after that then we had this covid stuff i believe and and it was kind of hard for us to talk again but from now, no, now we're back, um, back live, you know, in person and stuff. So we wanted him to come in and speak. Yeah, absolutely. So Maor, before I butcher your last name, it's Maor Benaim. I, ben I put it. Ben the wolf. We'll just call you the wolf. That's why. I'm the the wolf. Wolf. That's why I did it. Uh, Maor, the wolf. <laughs> The wolf, tell me a little bit uh, about yourself. So usually the way I get people to frame it is like, let's just say, for example, you see Howie on an elevator and you're in the elevator with him. You got like a minute and a half to tell him who you are, why you are the wolf of marketing and why you are actually qualified to speak at, again, the Elite Innovators Mastermind, which is the first mastermind that we've had in over a year and a half because of COVID. Tell us about yourself and that quick little elevator pitch. So I've been in the industry for something like 12 years and there are two main things that separate me from other speakers and also other people in the industry. The first one is that I'm what I call a full stack media buyer. That's actually a term that I invented just because 90% of media buyers nowadays would do mainly Facebook. And I'm one of the only guys who spends his own money, not agency money, not other brands or clients money my own money on my own stuff uh, through any media buying platform that there is. So obviously Facebook, Google is super big for me, natives, anywhere that you can buy media from Snapchat to TikTok, back to Facebook, and of course, Amazon, I'm there. So that's the first big thing for me. And I believe that the full stack media buyer needs to know the whole 360. It's not like it was four years ago when someone was just launching campaigns. Nowadays, you have to know how to video edit, how to edit the images, how to be a copywriter, how to A-B test landing pages. You need to understand business as a whole to really be a good media buyer. And that's what I'm all about. The second biggest uh, things that really, thing that really uh, differentiates me uh, from the, the other uh, people in the industry would be the fact that I'm also an affiliate. I own an agency, so I run stuff for other people. And I also own a brand. So I have my gummies, which is based out of Florida in Miami. So we're doing these gummies and I own the brand. So we're doing everything A to Z. We formulate the, the, the products ourselves and the formulas. And I also own a, a big fitness center in Israel, which is the, the, the biggest in terms of like the, the most luxurious fitness center in Israel. So we have a couple of branches and we're branching out and we opened up the biggest online workouts and fitness application in Israel also. So it's quite big. We're doing live streams. We're doing VOD over there. So it's really big for me. Media buying for me is such a passion that it drew me into speaking at those events. So I got so good in the past three or four years speaking at those events and really teaching because the way I come is really a mindset where it's these people who go to these events are so smart that they're going to learn it anyway. I might as well be the person that would teach them. So that's why I, I'm not like the other affiliates or media buyers in the industry where I kind of like, I have this secret now. I want to keep it. I want to do. No, for me, it's all about authenticity. It's all about sharing. It's all about doing because if I want to grow and I, and I totally understood that four years ago when I, when I started speaking at those events and you, you, you know, there are so many fake gurus out there. So many people who are trying to sell on a course, do something. I, I'm not trying to sell people on anything. 
I'm all about authenticity, all about sharing information. And for me, the reward comes across in two ways. The first one, having people appreciate me and the way I look, I, I see people look at me in a different way. And the second thing is the networking. You know, I believe that if you give with all your heart good information, valuable information, not those case studies that were relevant for one or two years ago that no one can really implement into their campaigns. I like giving tactical stuff that people can op actually open up their computer. Maybe I'll even do it with them at the event because it's such a, a smart group of people and would actually implement those changes and see how it impacts their business, how it changes their campaign, their ROI, maybe their costs, something like that. So this is what I'm all about. And at the end of the day, if you're good, if you give good information, making money out of your knowledge is, is something that's going to come with it, if you want it or not, almost. <laughs> Yeah, that was great. A great intro of the wolf. Like there's a couple things that, that, that came to my head when you were saying that, like I, for one, believe in your philosophy of giving as much as you can give. And uh, Joe Polish, who's, I, incidentally, I'm wearing like one of his t-shirts, who's one of the founders of Genius Network, has a saying that says, life gives to the giver and takes from the taker. The more you give at some point, you'll get it back. So I believe in your philosophy of giving out as much information as possible. And I have to say, it's not even, you know, for some people, it, it would sound really kind of like spiritual or, you know, new age shit. It's not. It totally makes sense that if you go, give with all your heart, people would want to, of course, some people are going to be a taker. You know, some people are just takers. They're going to take, they're not going to give. And that's okay. But we're in it for the long run where we play a, a really, a really long game. You know, we're not in, in, in it to make a quick profit. We're not in it to, to just, you know, so yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that this is going to, you're going to be a very uh, popular speaker because of the fact that that's what this mastermind is about. One of the things that I absolutely love about it is the amount of knowledge that gets spread around, like you said, very loosely, very candidly, things that you won't hear anywhere else because people are so secretive and they're wanting to keep like every secret very hot, close to their chest. But the reality is in this mastermind, it's a lot different. So there's a lot of people constantly giving out information. And I know how oh, you yeah. would agree. And I, I know I, I have to say that this industry uh, has some of the smartest people ever. So these people, if you're going to be fake, if you're going to lie, they're going to see right through it and probably very fast. There is no point in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, you know, Howie, my first question was actually for you, Howie, knowing that you brought uh, the wolf here to be a speaker on here. What platform are you most excited to hear him speak about since he has such an immense knowledge in just media buying in general? Which platform are you most excited to hear about? Because I'm sure you see in the back end which platforms have very effective ranking capabilities on our Amazon listings. But which one are you most excited to hear about, Howie? So there is actually two that I'm interested in um, seeing how the wolf would handle it is through uh, TikTok and Google. So if he has something like that, that would be great. So this is this mastermind is all based on you know the best speaker, right? Yeah, we have I guess a cash prize of I think uh, seven thousand dollars, and we were we're gonna give it away to the best speaker because we want the best out of the best, you know. So we don't want just something that they talked about on another event or they you know it was like a week kind of uh, presentation. We want we this is a mastermind, so. We are hoping for the best of the best of speech. And and like what the wolf said, if he has anything that like regarding a SOP or things that people can actually implement, that is what value, that's what people like. And that's what we've seen in the past that actually won some of the events that we have. Yeah, no, Wolf, my next question is to you based on what Howie said. Like I know you typically every Amazon seller and their mother has been taught to use Facebook ads to run traffic to these funnels and to collect uh, giveaways and do all that good stuff, not to collect them, but to get them. But what platforms are you seeing the highest level of ranking capabilities on right now? I know how he mentioned TikTok and Google, but which platforms are you having the most success when it comes to Amazon listings at the very moment? So I think that first of all, my answer is probably going to surprise you, but I have to say, first of all, that the big change, the iOS change, the attribution change kind of like pushed a lot of mediocre 
media buyers really down because with Facebook, just having that really smart algorithm, you would launch campaign. It was a plug and play system. You could have targeted the whole United States and start getting sales. Nowadays, it's very hard and you need to kind of like, we see a lot of people transitioning to Google and with Google ads, you need a lot of skills and you need deeper pockets and you need a lot of patience. It's a more professional game and that's the biggest transition that I see that's going on. In terms of uh, Google, in, in terms of Amazon ranking, I have to say, and I think it would surprise a lot of people, that's one of the biggest secrets that I, I am going to show. So I'm going to kind of like just give a tease over here. Ow. But <laughs> but it is working for me really good, really well right now, just because people who I, I launched a couple of campaigns and I noticed a correlation between the number of impressions and the viewable impressions and the number of sales we got on our brand. So when I, I kind of like started looking for the balance between the cheapest impression to the most targeted and quality impression. And the, the place I found it was some native platforms. And then I wanted to take it to the next level. And I did it by doing two things that I'm going to go in deeper when, when we're in Vegas at the event. The first one was targeting really premium sites, which was easy. And the second one was using soft conversions to really help the algorithm drive traffic that was targeted towards people who wanted to purchase my stuff on Amazon. So I added the buy on Amazon image that would send into the product listing on Amazon. And I just A-B tested to see how it's working, how many people are clicking and how I can optimize on people who are actually and drive traffic towards there and really give the, the, the algorithm the, the conversion data into like the, just the data points on how to target those people, you know? So I, I, I wanted to tease, I did a bit more than that, but I am going to share in-depth the, the in-depth process of how to do it actually. That's amazing. Howie, how excited are you to hear that? Or have you actually gotten some backend have you, have you managed to get a back-end sneak peek to that, Howie? No, this is actually on the fly right now. So I'm uh, excited to see what that is as well. Yeah, absolutely. I'm as well. And I, I feel like the people out there definitely want that. And I love the way that you tease that, Wolf. I think a lot of people are going to be like, ah, Lord, can he just tell us now? I know for one, I, I'm one of those people. But let's talk about, since you've already kind of given a sneak peek at one of the tricks up your sleeves and one of the things that you would like to reveal. What are some of the other ideas that you have uh, to speak about at this event? And, you know, feel free to just tease us if that's what you'd like to do, because I think so far it's worked and a lot of people out there are <laughs> going to be itching for more. So, I mean, the stuff that I'm want to, I want to talk about would be mostly on Google, because I think the biggest opportunity in terms of scaling and in terms of like going into that first milestone and taking that first milestone, whatever it is for your business on Amazon or the e-com store that you have in general, and taking it to the next level, Google is probably the best place to do it just because it has so many networks. It has the shopping network, which is huge. It has YouTube, the video network. It has search traffic. It has the, the Gmail traffic. It has GDN traffic as, as a whole. And I feel like the biggest opportunity is there. And of course, the, the discovery network, which is kind of like new, it's not really new, but it's probably the newest networks out of the, the, the networks inside Google. And what I like talking about is how to really capture that opportunity in terms of like what I call uncharted territories. So, I mean, there are a lot of places, a lot of networks, a lot of placements that advertisers do not know about because people go on automated campaigns. So there are a few places inside Google where there is a big opportunity just getting a super high quality traffic with really low prices. And it's been working across a lot of campaigns that I've been doing. By the way, from Legion to e-commerce, from businesses who aren't listed on Amazon or in businesses that have few reviews and businesses that are doing a lot of reviews and that's a part of the 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 power kind of like that i have just like being a consultant consultant 
being an agency owner, I get to see my campaigns and I get to compare it with actual advertising accounts of other people. So definitely we're going to touch a few opportunities that Google has on how to really, it's going to be structured in a way where even if you're not advertising on Google, how you can do, start doing that in a really smart, narrow way that would really create a baseline of profitability right out of the gate, really a narrow sniper approach that would just like really target your, your core audience. And then how you take it and, and scale it and optimize it. So that's what I want to talk about. It's going to be really for, for everyone. Amazing. What, what part of that, Howie, uh, gets you excited? I know you're super excited for Q4 already. I see those Christmas trees in the backdrop that you have there. I know you very purposefully selected those Christmas trees because you of all people are super fired up for Q4. Well, uh, of course, kind of fired up, but I just want to, you know, finally hear what the wolf have to say about, uh, you know, marketing and love to like have more information on like how to connect the, the old, old school marketing with Amazon and all the, especially right now with the external traffic incentives, that bonus that people are getting when they, when they use external traffic. So this is, this event is mainly about external traffic. So we'll see how wolf does compared to the other people out there. That we, the other so side. I am going to touch the whole A to Z in terms of like how I really get to capture that audience, whether it's Facebook, Google, and natives, and bring it on to my Amazon campaign, which is really unique, and how to really use paid advertising inside Amazon to kind of like upsell those people into your bigger packages, bigger bundles, and really get a higher AOV at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, I've got a, a few questions for you, Wolf. Uh, first off, I was just curious, where did you get that wolf behind you? That is the coolest thing ever. That it looks like a cardboard wolf. <laughs> yeah, it is a cardboard uh, wolf. I actually, I'm, I'm actually really addicted to diesel clothing. I am wearing Nike right now, but I'm usually wearing diesel. And I, I, I do on... too. I love their Jaga jeans. They're the best. Yeah, so they have the best jeans. Obviously, most people really like Agreed. the jeans. But I'm like, I've been buying them for more than 16 years. I don't know what I would do if they would go bankrupt or something. I, I would be probably stay with my clothes and that's it. I would never buy clothes again. Uh, and I walked onto one of their stores. They had a, a wolf collection. It was probably a year after I kind of like came out with the wolf name and my company and stuff. And I told them, okay, listen, guys, we're either going to fight and you're going to call the police or you're going to sell it to me. <laughs> But I'm going out with this cardboard world, wolf. You get, you, you can choose. And we negotiated, and they gave me a really, really bad price, probably. But I had to take it. It was one of those. Yeah, that's uh, like, that's that's interesting. I I also love diesel jogger jeans. That's the only kind of jeans I wear. So yeah, it uh, feels like you're you're in pajamas all day. So it does. But my second question to you is: I know you mentioned GDN which for those of you who don't know, that's Google Display Network, which actually has a tremendous amount of traffic. It's insane how much traffic it has. It's kind of one of those networks that's difficult to explore, difficult to work on. But how is it, what's your approach when you hit a network like that that's potentially massive or potentially a gold mine, but there's just really been no type of person that's been brave enough to go venture into that for Amazon, say itself. What is your typical approach when you find a platform like that and you want to test it out? Definitely, yeah. I, I love that question because, first of all, I feel like every network within Google, especially if you're running in the United States, but even if you're running on Europe, every, every network inside Google is an ocean of traffic. And with GDN, you really need to know what you're doing and you really need to know how to start. So the way I'm going to teach and talk about it at the event would be really starting off with that traffic that you're generating on the outside, whether it's just like your brand, organic traffic, SEO traffic, Facebook traffic, paid traffic, whatever you're getting, and how to really, first of all, use that platform to squeeze everything that you can from it. Obviously, I'm talking about a remarketing campaign, but within Google, you need to know how you're going to use it. That's the first key part. The second thing uh, and I don't mind sharing it because we're going to go so deep inside it in, in, at the event. But there is something really cool within Google, which is called observation lists. 
which you can't really find anywhere else. And observation lists are kind of like free data that, that you're getting. By opening almost any type of campaign inside Google, you can add a couple of different uh, audience segments, whether it's people inside your website, but I like adding really cold segments, in-market audience segments, these types of targeting. And what's cool about that is when you launch the campaign, you get to see how those costume, just like segments, audience segments really did. So you can see if you would have targeted those segments, how they would have reacted within that specific campaign. And then you can do a bunch of stuff. You can start bid adjusting them up or down. Or if you see a specific audience segment within GDN that's working really good, you can kind of like remove it from that campaign and open a targeted campaign just for that audience. So it's kind of like giving you free data. So again, the first campaign that I would open up within GDN is the remarketing campaign. Taking it to the next level, once that campaign gets enough conversion data, there is options within Google on how to expand that warm audience campaign into cold audience and really boost your, your, your campaign really from the start. So we're going to talk about a few tactics regarding GDN and it is going to be awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. I know the GDN is, is primarily one of the big networks to use for remarketing. So that's going to be super exciting. How I mean, I'm, such a Google, I'm such a Google geek that I could probably talk about just GDN for a couple of days and then... I love we'll, it. Um, yeah. I love it. I would, I would be sitting there like a nerd taking notes. <laughs> well, so I'm among those nerds that would love to hear that. Howie, any last thoughts from you before we call wrap this up? I just have an, a question maybe, you guys, for Google Display... This, Display video 360. Have you guys done that on Amazon? 360? Yeah. Display video. I mean, I have been doing some display video. I mean, it is something that I would usually kind of like use for branding purposes, stuff that's more of like in the impressions, view world, stuff like that. I kind of like see better opportunities when we're talking about targeted traffic that's, that has more intent in terms of converting. And also, if you want to get video, the YouTube and the video partner network would be a really good place to start anyway. So, Sounds good. Amazing. Howie, anything else you got to add? I don't think so. Awesome. Well, I know we've, we've been on for about 30 minutes, so I think we better call it a wrap, although I could keep this going on. But, uh, you know, we, we're going to save all of the Wolf's good stuff for the event. Again, he will be at the event October 4th and 5th in Las Vegas. And that, that event is selling quite fast. So I do invite you guys to schedule a call. In order to schedule a call to see if you do qualify for that event, head on over to howardtie.com forward slash elite. 2021. Did I get that right, Howie, or did I butcher that? That's good. All right. That's 2021 as in the year. So it's howardtie.com forward slash elite 2021. Again, the Wolf will be one of 11 speakers that we have on deck, all extremely talented, all extremely brilliant at what they do. I am super pumped to hear the Wolf. And it seems to me like every time we get a brand new speaker on this, Howie, I'm always super fired up. Howie, what can you tell people about the difference between this event and the ones that we've had online in the past year and a half since we've been stuck in the house because of COVID? I mean, I, I kind of, I can tell people that, you know, the online, the online one is just like a, uh, you know, a baby compared to the stuff that we do on the in-person event you know it's stuff that we can't speak about online because it's it's uh kind of recorded and everything so it's it's like a way different it's like uh it's like from like a child's play to like uh, advanced amazon tactics you know yeah and you know how we, my absolute favorite point from this mastermind or this actual call today was how how he lit up like a tree like the, one of the trees in his background when he talked about partying in Vegas. <laughs> so I can tell you guys this much. When you do get out to Vegas with Howie, the secrets roll out. Don Julio and Howie are usually best buds at the bar. And uh, Howie and Don Julio, they spill the beans. So you do definitely want to be in the house for this event, October 4th and 5th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Again, to find out more, it's howardtie.com forward slash elite 2021. The Wolf and 11 other people will be on deck 
to speak at that event. So Wolf, thank you again for joining us. We really appreciate it. We certainly appreciated all the knowledge bombs that you dropped today absolutely for free for people that just showed up but again you also tease the hell out of a lot of people a lot of people are going to be like firing up your facebook firing up your instagram trying to stalk you see who you're who you are and what you're doing so i hope you're prepared i am prepared i have a really nice youtube uh, channel so people can definitely come in and subscribe and i have to Fantastic. add to what yeah. the, how we just said Uh, these events, first of all, you can't compare them to any online event just because of the, you know, at the end of the day, the online event would be IQ. The offline event is more of like an EQ, you know, the networking, everyone, even if it's two days, even if it's like one day, the, at the end of the event, people are just like family, you know, It, it's a whole different atmosphere. A whole different energy the stuff that you get from the one-on-ones the stuff that you get from actually seeing that person in person in terms of knowledge in, in terms of just like business stuff stuff that you well, a lot of people think that they want to get certain things out of the event and they're going to get that and so much more that they haven't even planned getting and and that's something i promise you with that level of people inside the room There is no way, even if you're an introvert, that you're not going to level up your business. Yeah, absolutely. And before we leave, let us know, what, what's your YouTube channel? It's just MaorBN, M-A-O-R-B-N, YouTube slash MaorBN. Awesome, so. amazing. I will definitely check that out. I'm, I'm a pretty uh, diehard YouTuber, so I will certainly look that. I know Howie will. But Howie, any last words before we say goodbye and I give the URL to that event on October 4th and 5th in Las Vegas, Nevada, one more time? So I just want to let people know that we didn't say it, but the wolf is actually from Israel. So he's yeah. flying down all the way down to from Israel to speak and share his knowledge on Amazon and also uh, marketing, paid ads, full stack. That's so. amazing. I'm fired up. Uh, the only thing I'm curious about is will the, the other wolf be accompanying him <laughs> on the seat next to him? <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, well, that's too bad. But anyways, guys and girls, to find out more about Howard's first ever again live and in-person event after a year and a half being online, we've taken it live finally in Las Vegas, Nevada, November 4th, or, I'm sorry, October 4th and 5th. To find out more, howardtie.com forward slash elite 2021. I look forward to seeing you there on behalf of the Wolf and Howie. That's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>